Now, get ready. This is some real content. This is uh, this down the pipe. I saw it. I looked into it. Um, be warned, children. I have gone out of my way to censor this. It wasn't like graphic to begin with. It's kind of it's weird and it's really uncomfortable, but it's not like super graphic. It's just extremely uncomfortable. I'll put it like that. Um, now, now let's get some uh, some pride nail emojis in chat. If you are a fan of SCP, SCP has been a weird thing. It's like a super autistic, like fanfic. Basically, they created this world where it's a <laughs> it's a uh, repository of of just like spooky short stories, and they kind of themed them around this idea that there is like a um. I don't know how you would describe it, like an like a like a Ghostbusters jail where they have to maintain these things that really can't be destroyed. Um, and the the spooky stories are just like reports from staff that work at the facility, and they have to deal with the spooky monsters that are contained. Um, and they describe what what they do and how they operate and the supernatural elements. And uh, it was very popular. I remember it being very popular um, for a long time. And then it became very paused because obviously something like that is going to be extremely um, autistic and autistic people are truants now. So it's been co-opted by retards and um, at some point, but despite its popularity, uh, there was going to be uh, animations. And there was, there was a, a series called, uh, I think, con con Containment? Contained? Let me, let me get this right. Hold up. Confinement by a man named Lord Bung. He has had a Patreon. Uh, don't mind the website. Our drama is extremely fabulous, and they're not afraid to let everyone know. I think if I click, it makes a fart noise. Oh, I don't get a fart noise. Maybe because I'm using Firefox now. Um, but basically, they released the series... And it's just like an animation centered around the like the SCP stories and such. Uh, they released seven episodes, and then since 2019, Lord Bung has been working on episode eight. During this time, he's opened a Patreon. So this was the beginning of the Patreon when he was making episodes. Then in 2019, he starts uh, preparing for. Um, for episode eight and he consistently on average is making about four dollars thirty cents per patreon and so you can probably guesstimate that at his peak he was making about twenty four hundred dollars a month if you calculate it out since 2019 based on his uh subscriber count he has probably made over a hundred thousand dollars i'm gonna ask in chat is he gay no worse he's a true now he's become a uh Lord S. What's the word of like the female word for a lord? He goes by Lord Bung still, but he uh, claims to be a woman now. He has an entire team of like animators and voice actors and shit. Uh, and late Lord S. Lady, lady, lady Bung. Okay. Uh, he claims that his ass is broken, and that's why progress on Confinement Episode 8 was slow. There is a video of him explaining that his ass is broken. However, if I go to the SCP page and click this video to see the video about his ass being broken, uh, you can see that he has actually gone into DFE mode, and I cannot find the video about his ass being broken anywhere. Um, actually, let me check one more time. I do have the SCP thread open on the Kiwi Farms, and I asked... Um, for this video, we will see if the Kiwi Farms was able to provide a copy in the last, um, the last few minutes, and I don't think that they have been able to. Okay, that's fine. We can go on without it. Um, I don't know what his ass being broken means, but you can use your imagination, uh, and I will move on. Um, so, at a certain point... He announced in the Reddit thread that it's over. I think that there was a YouTube video. Or it's a Patreon post saying that uh, he is going to be stepping down. He's closed his Patreon and he's done. 
but there is a link to a Google Drive video that or Google Drive page that had all the files for um, episodes one through seven, and then also a leak from chapter one of episode eight. And it's a music video. It's about four minutes long. So we got about four minutes of video done in three years, more than three years. And it is softcore pornography, fetish pornography for exposure and like casual sex. I think that it's um that the people involved all claim that even though it seems like sexual harassment, like if someone made this without telling people, it would definitely constitute sexual harassment. But um I think that all the people involved are also troons because in the animation they look all fucking weird and gender fluid and shit. So I think everyone involved is like a gross weirdo and they were okay with it, but it's extremely uncomfortable to watch. Uh, I have taken some screen caps and, and blurred out like the, impl it's all implied, but I, blur I, I blocked it out anyways to make it safe for YouTube and for my, for my audience. Um, it's a, it's a music video to this song and I'll play just a little bit of it. Don't worry about God, baby. It's called Six Feet by Zelinky. It is actually an original soundtrack that was made in 2019 and released to YouTube. So uh, he actually had composition and music ready to go for this thing. And he only completed like the weird sex video for this. Uh, so let us begin. I have some uh, only a couple screen caps. I'll guide you through it. Um, he. Basically, if you look at his avatar, that's the main character that I'm describing. He has like a missing eye in the video. And he starts off by getting a jetpack and flying into like a skyscraper building, which I guess is like the SCP office building. Um, he's naked and he is pressed up against the glass like this. And there's like lots of blushing, like like anime style blushing, like oh my god, a penis, and then nosebleed, spit out a big blush. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's a penis. Um, then from here, uh, he slides off this building and lands down, and then oh my god, there's more blushing, and it's so diverse. Uh, I think the, these are all self inserts of the different people working on the project. And then he, he gets away from these people who are staring at him naked and he puts on a belt that supposedly should make him invisible, but I don't think that it does. The way he puts on this belt is the most awkward, uncomfortable thing ever. And this is dead set why it's a fetish thing. You like see it from this angle. There's like the belt of Adonis and there's also like the very beginning of the penis where it like inserts into the pelvis. And it's like a, like a weird point of view. It's extremely uncomfortable to watch, and I'm forced to assume that this is Lord Bung's fetish, and he put this in here deliberately to make people uncomfortable. Uh, we are one minute and 30 seconds into a four minute long video. Um, at some point, he breaks into the facility, I guess using his invisibility belt, and he attacks a guard who is urinating. There's a fight, and they dock, and oops, Big blush, so embarrassing. Our penis and balls are touching as we fight. How uncomfortable. Uh, we are 1 minute 49 seconds into the fight. Then, running away from the bathroom, he slips on some lube and slides on one foot. And whoops, he's accidentally penetrated this woman who's doing this weird pose in a naked yoga room that I guess that they do in the SCP offices. Uh, we are two minutes into this video. He then runs away after having accidental sex with this weird uh, shaved head Native American woman in the naked yoga room. And whoops, he slips on soap into the inner, into the inner sex co-ed showers. And everyone's like, oh my God, look at his dongus. Isn't this embarrassing? Uh, and then 
uh, we're two and a half minutes in. There is about a full minute of uh, convenient censorship, implied sex and nudity that results in like a mass orgy between all the people in the co-ed shower. Uh, there is one woman who uh, manages to avoid being molested. She escapes to the ceiling of the facility and crawls along the vents like like a like a sloth would on a branch of a tree. However, she uh, the main character escapes to like a laundry room and sits on the laundromat. Then she falls off of the the vent she is on and accidentally impales herself on his penis. And then accidentally starts the washing machine, and the washing machine stimulates sex for them. And um, that's it. That is a uh, hundred thousand dollars of content to masturbate this troon who has a very obvious fetish for like accidental sex and like mingling and uh, exposure. And after after truding out and breaking his ass, he just gives up and says, "I got what I wanted out of this. Um, I I have my consent accident footage. I'm done. Bye bye." And supposedly all the people involved in this are okay with it. Um, but I imagine if they were not okay with it, they would not have the ability to say so, anyways. Says I stopped my Patreon a few weeks back. If you want to download my videos, do it now because I'm going to delete this channel in a day or two. And he already has. He gave it literally like a day before everyone started making fun of him. And he retired. Uh, so. Money well spent, I guess. <laughs> What's weird is that like troons are good as like autistic wage slaves when you like put them into a room and force them to code. But the moment they get the reins of anything creative, it's it's like a, a fucking disaster. You know what I mean? I don't know what I don't know what it is about their brains, but I guess they're just like super porn sick and they don't know how to make entertainment without it being hypersexual and weird and creepy like that. Yeah, it's autism. It's true. Auti but I don't know. Autists can make... I mean, Chris made Sonichu, the pinnacle of human creativity. So you can't say that autists aren't creative. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofab. Remember to like and subscribe.